Hello, my name is Sherry with the Missouri SBDC. Today, we're going to briefly go over the SBA Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program and how to apply. First, we want to address what the EIDL program is. All of the information provided on this slide was taken from the SBA's Disaster Assistance Coronavirus COVID-19 page of their website that you can access at the link at the top of this page. For information about this program, uh, the SBA is offering low interest federal disaster loans for working capital to small businesses suffering substantial economic injury as a result of the coronavirus COVID-19. The SBA's Economic Injury Disaster Loan offers up to $2 million in assistance. These loans may be used to pay fixed debts, payroll, accounts payable, and other bills that can't be paid because of the disaster's impact. The interest rate for small businesses is 3.75%, and the interest rate for nonprofits is 2.75%. For questions, you may contact the SBA Disaster Assistance Customer Service Center at the phone number or email provided on this slide. If you do need this information, feel free to pause this recording at any time so that you may gather the information that you need. Moving on and how to apply for the EIDL loan program, you will have a few steps to complete. You can access the application at the address at the top of this slide. And there are five pages that you will be completing to apply for the EIDL loan program. The first page is the landing page of the application, which includes their disclosures, then business information, business owners information, additional information, and then finally the summary page before you submit. So first we'll start with the disclosures. Since the passing of the CARES Act on March 27th, 2020, SBA has enacted a streamlined process for applying for the EIDL program. So you will read these statements uh, as they are on the first page of the application. And then scrolling down the page, you will get to the eligible, eligible entity verification section where you will choose one of these options. Uh, again, you can pause this recording at any time to be able to fully review these, uh, but these are taken directly from the application and you'll be able to review them there as well. Once you have chosen your eligible entity verification, you will then review and check all of the following statements before continuing on to business information. Uh, you will not be able to proceed with the application if you have not checked all of these boxes. Moving on to business information, here on the screen you will notice all of the different items that will be requested on the business information page. Those items with an asterisk are required. Once completing all of this information, you will continue on to the business owner information. Here you will answer one question at the top of the page, uh, state asking, is your business owned by a business entity, yes or no? And then you will complete the information for the owners. Um, what you see here is the required information for owner slash agent one, if there are additional business owners, there will be a button near the bottom of the page that you will select and you'll be able to add second, third business owners information. Once all of the business owners information has been added, you can continue on to the additional information page. Here, there will be three questions to answer at the top of the page. Then you'll provide information for anyone that may have assisted you in completing this application, whether you paid a fee for the service or not. And it is on this page that if you are interested in being considered for the advance of $10,000, you will need to check a box, and that will be about the middle of this page. Following that checkbox, you will provide your bank information to send funds, including your bank name, account number, and routing number. Following this section are statements to read to verify that the information that you provided is true and correct, 
and you will be asked to check a box near the bottom of the page to indicate that you are verifying or certifying that the information you provided was true and correct. From there, you will continue on to the summary page. Here, you will review the information that you have provided on the previous pages to ensure that all of your information is true and correct. And if everything is correct, you will then go ahead and submit. Thank you very much for your time. We understand that this can be a uh, difficult time for many. And if there are business questions or uh, assistance that you need, you may reach out to the Missouri SBDC at missourisbdc.org for COVID-19 business resources and to also request services from any of our centers across the state. The Missouri SBDC is funded in part through a cooperative agreement with the U.S. Small Business Administration and is a University of Missouri Extension partner, along with a partner of many other universities, colleges, and economic development corporations throughout the state, serving businesses in Missouri to help business owners make confident decisions to start, grow, expand, and exit their business. Thank you. And again, if you have any questions, please refer to missourisbdc.org.